Are we sure? Are you sure of the facts? He had a 108 year sentence for just purse snatching. It was for robbery and burglary, and the robbery was in the parking lot. Unless Governor Huckabee is totally misrepresenting things, and I don't think that he is. And I'm, not, and I'm inclined to think he would not, because Mr. Huckabee is a very honorable man. Let's go to Aaron, San Diego. You're on the Michael Medved Show. Mike, I lost a lot of respect for Governor Huckabee through that interview, because either he doesn't know the case, or he boldface lied about Clemens' early crimes. Clemens was arrested on the campus of his school as a teenager for with carrying a gun. a gun. Yeah. That's carrying a gun to school, not just a little purse snatching or something to brush off. He did Yeah, but I, I don't believe he was sentenced for carrying a gun to school. He was that, sixteen when he did it. That was one of the sentences that because no, the way it, it, I don't believe he was sentenced for that. His sentence for hundred and eight years, I believe, was came for in burglary. But I that was pardon. one of the issue it came in nineteen ninety. Right. And that was one of the things they did because he was on probation for that. So when you violate probation, you then get sentenced at the later sentencing date for the earlier crime. Okay. So he did get sentenced for that. Okay, he but wait. Are, 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 do you have any knowledge of um, Maurice Clemens before his commutation mm -hmm. by the commutation of sentence by Governor Huckabee in, in 2000? Do you have any information that he was engaged in any violent crime? He punched the victim outside of the hotel bar that he robbed violence to me that one of the robbery convictions was it did involve punching a victim yep okay he also during his trial had to be shackled because he was threatening the judge he ended up hitting his mom there is an aspect of my interview and i say this i i, I know i run the risk of destroying my relationship with mike huckabee but i think it's appropriate um because i i do have the the terrible feeling that Governor Huckabee wasn't entirely honest in the interview he gave me yesterday. Let me play back for you, and that's a serious charge for a decent man, but I don't think he's handling this well. Let me play back for you part of the interview where I asked Governor Huckabee very directly about what was going on with this guy, Maurice Clemens, who started his life of crime at age 16 by bringing a gun to school, and then was involved in burglaries and robberies, and got a very long sentence. Here was my question. Listen to Huckabee's answer to my follow-up and then to his answer again. 108 years for burglary and robbery is extraordinary. Was was there some some aspect of, of those crimes that had led to this enormous sentence for this young man? This was a kid who was black, he was poor, and he had a public defender. And unfortunately, Michael, the reality is that in, in my state... There was often a history of uh, kids like him getting disproportionate sentences to an upper-middle-class white kid who, with a similar crime, would have faced probation, a pretty nice fine that his parents could have paid, and ordering to do some community service or go to counseling. 108 years. I've asked people, look me in the eye and tell me that a 16-year-old committing a burglary and a robbery should go to prison for 108 years. Had he assaulted anyone in the course of the robbery? Had At he, that point... Had he no, the, 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 the robbery was a confrontation with a lady in a hotel parking lot. They did not have a weapon. They took her purse, which had $16 and some credit cards in it. And I, I'm not justifying what the kid did. I mean, going to prison, that's fine. Uh, that's a serious offense, and he did 11 years for that. Okay, now, when that's I stop, 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 sentence, stop, stop. No. That's, that's, that's enough. Uh, do, do you hear the clear implication from Governor Huckabee? that the only problem with this guy, Maurice Clemens, was a burglary and a robbery, and the and the robbery, which is the more serious of the charges, because robbery involves actually assaulting a person, uh, whereas burglary involves breaking into a house. The, uh, the implication from Governor Huckabee was he had done nothing violent. He didn't have a violent history. And he was pretty consistent about that. Now, this is not true. It's just not true. And we had a caller after Governor Huckabee was gone who made that case, and the caller was right. CNN did a actually a pretty good report on this whole thing, and sure, they're out to get Mike Huckabee. I know they are. I mean, Mike Huckabee works for their rival Fox, among other things. Uh, sure, they're out to get him, but they, they got him. And the truth of the matter is that when you look at uh, this guy Maurice Clemens' record in prison, the 11 years he was in prison before Huckabee commuted his sentence, he was not a model prisoner. He was a violent prisoner. He was a terrible prisoner. 
He never should have even been considered for clemency. This is what it sounded like when shortly after the interview with me, a reporter from CNN whose name I believe is, um, I have it written down here somewhere, it's a reporter I don't know from CNN, but he was doing a good job. I think it's Griffin Dunn, uh, something like that. Uh, he um, he approached and confronted Mike Huckabee in Jacksonville, Florida, yesterday. Did you go any further than was handed to you? I read the you? entire file. Was it just this few pieces no, no, of no, paper? No, no, no. It was a file this thick. Did it tell you the violations he had in prison, the assaults, every, the every bit of his record. firearm possession, the fact that he tried to slip a you know, piece I, of metal into court? I looked at the file, every bit of it, and here was a case where a guy had been given 108 years. Now, if you think that a 108-year sentence is an appropriate sentence for a 16-year-old for the crimes he committed, then you should run for governor of Arkansas. Apparently, judges in Arkansas yeah. did think that, though, right? Uh, no, Judge Humphrey did not, and Judge Lofton did not did not oppose the uh, you know the clemency. That's what I think you you know you have to understand. You're looking at this nine years later and trying to make something as if that you know I could look into the future. I wish I could have. Good Lord, I wish I had that power. I wish I could have done that. I guess I'm wondering, but I don't you... know how anyone can do it. Okay, here is the problem. You just heard Governor Huckabee saying he had looked at the whole file, that he had seen the whole file. If he had seen the whole file, then he wasn't being truthful with us. I mean, either he had not seen the whole file or he wasn't truthful with us. It, 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 this doesn't work out. This, this guy, and here's the core problem as I see it. Again, I, I do believe that Mike Huckabee is basically a very decent leader and a decent human being, but boy, did he blow it big this time. And I've been trying to figure out why, and I think you can hear it there in that tape. The, the core disagreement is this. What is the purpose of putting people in jail? I suspect that Mike Huckabee, in one corner of his soul, believes the purpose of putting people in jail is punishment. It's retribution. It's not. The deeper purpose of putting people in jail is to make you and me safer. It's to take guys who are certain to reoffend and to hurt us and to put them away. I, I don't want them near my daughter. I don't want them near decent police officers. I don't want them doing anything like that. Mike Huckabee, if he really did read the whole file on Maurice Clemens, even in 2000, before he got much worse, and it's true, he got worse. He was terrible in prison, and he should have seen that. If someone is a lousy prisoner, he shouldn't be considered for clemency. Isn't it obvious? Whether the sentence is disproportionate or not, he's not ready to come out and live among civilized people.